Hey there, it's Justin again. I wanted to um, get your thoughts on what you're gonna do uh, in this housing crisis. What's your situation? Um, are you making it? Are you homeless? Are you worried about your about your situation? Are you making enough money to, are you gonna buy a house? You make that kind of money? Do you have that kind of money? If so, how are you doing it? What did you do? Uh, it's one of those funny things where I feel like people, you know, they're shy about this and you never really hear about it. You see people buying houses all the time. How do they do it? It doesn't have to be you. You can tell me a story about uh, somebody you know. How do they buy it? Where do they get all that money? Um, and if you're having a tough time, what are your, you know, if you, are you, are you going to gonna find yourself homeless? Or you think you might? I'm really curious. I'd li really like to get your feedback on uh, what, uh, what your situation is. I mean, I'll tell you, um, I'll, and I'll share with you my uh, personal situation. I've been in some tough situations recently. <coughs> a big a career that went away, um, and I had to—I I became a realtor from that. Uh, but I've also had to do a lot of other stuff in between as a, as a, as I'm developing my, um, uh, you know, my uh, network. I've had a miserable divorce, which is, you know, I know a lot of a lot of you out there. It's funny when I started uh, opening up about it to people, <laughs> I was amazed at how many people uh, had a similar uh, story. So, uh, you know, how, what's your what's your situation, and is your housing uh, is your housing um, uh, status uh, secure? Do you think it is? Do you think it's not? Um, and what did you think your life was going to be like now? Maybe you're making tons of money. Maybe you have this, one of these cush uh, tech jobs or you're, you're an MD. Um, but uh, if not, uh, what are you doing? Are you going to leave California? Uh, lots of people are. Uh, I just heard something about U-Haul. <laughs> you know, U-Haul is having trouble getting vehicles. They have to get all the vehicles back to California because everyone's doing one-way uh, moves. And, um, so, uh, you can probably get a side hustle delivering, uh, vehicles back to California. Um, but, uh, yeah, I want, I'd like to know what your plans are and what your, what your story is. And if you can't afford it, you know, there's no, sh I mean, there's no shame either way. I, I feel like people are going to be, if, if people who can't afford it are going to be shy. I think other people would like to know, how do you pull this off? You know, what was your, you know, what are the three top reasons that you, are able to uh, to do what you're doing, uh, and if it's a big inheritance, you know, don't be shy. Also, if it's um, if you're not making it, tell us what went wrong. I mean, I'll tell you personally. I got I had a career that was uh, house of cards. I got into something that was uh, a, I got into a doomed industry, and I knew it was doomed, but it's what were, was working for me at the time. I knew I had to um, do something about it. And I waited too long. Uh, and I found myself in a tough spot. Um, just as I had a child on the way, I had uh, to make a career change. And it wasn't easy. And I still haven't fully recovered, but it's getting better. But, uh, you know, so my situation is, um, there's plenty of color, <laughs> lots of color in my, in my uh, personal situation. Um, but I'd like to hear what yours, what your, you know what your situation is like and uh, if you're if you're doing good if you're not doing so well if you're somewhere in the middle um, I wanted to share with you a couple videos that I think are great one is a, a, a the, the outfit is called Brit monkey which I think is adorable Brit monkey um, the housing crisis is, is the everything crisis it's a it's an amazing um, uh, documentary on the housing, uh, the global housing situation, particularly with America and England, but, um, uh, but you get an, uh, you get an idea of, uh, you know, cause it's housing has become such a, um, charged up issue and people are so used to a certain paradigm. And when you see it framed in a way that is, uh, more researched, and more thoughtful, I, I think it's very helpful because you know basically he's he blames he's he's making a case that this Brit monkey person he's making a case that uh, they are making a case that 
uh, most of the world's problems can be pegged to housing and the, la and the lack of affordability in housing. Another one I, I, I would encourage you to watch is, um, it's called uh, uh, Polymatter. Uh, the company is, the outfit is called Polymatter. That's on YouTube. Uh, how Singapore solved housing. How Singapore solved housing. Um, it's a weird use of English, but um, you get the point. It's a little different because it, it, Singapore is a is a authoritarian country, uh, and it solved housing in a rather authoritarian way, which some people won't be comfortable with. But I think it's worth seeing because it does it is an example of a you know relatively poor country. I guess I don't think they're so poor now, but it's a country where eighty percent of the population is in public housing, and they like it that way, or they you know they're not revolting. And it seems to be working. There's no stigma because everyone lives in uh, public housing. Should the United States housing be uh, nationalized? You know, uh, the way things are going, it's going to have to be because there's going to be a revolution, I believe. Um, because people, I, I think at some point, people aren't going to put up with this. Um, and I, I'd like to not. I'd like to not see a revolution. I'd like to see. Uh, public policy that gets people in housing and figures out a way to do it. Um, I think there's so many arguments, pro and con, about uh, a government getting involved in housing. And, uh, you know, I guess I come down as a bit of a bleeding hearted liberal at the end of the day. I realize there's, uh, there's pros and cons to any narrative you come up with, but I do feel like at the end of the day, what you'll see in Brit Monkey, the housing crisis is the everything crisis. Is is it's close to my heart. Yeah, I do believe that uh, the case that this, this uh, uh, these people are making is, is very powerful. That I think at some point you, you just can't have this hyper financialization of the housing market because it puts people in the street, uh, and that ain't no good. It's bad for your soul. It's bad for them. <laughs> it's bad for everybody. Uh, ultimately, and it's bad for the economy. It's bad. I mean, it's just bad for the whole uh, the whole nation. So um, there's a, there, at some point there has to be a, a, a we're all in this together um, uh, narrative. You know, you, you think about the Second World War. You know, the rich sent their children to go fight in combat. They don't do that anymore. There's something going on. You know, and, there, and I, there's a hundred examples like that where um, where the the nation seems divided in a way that it wasn't divided 75 years ago, and um, and I think a lot of that is uh, the financialization of everything. So um, please uh, give, give me some feedback. I'd really love to, uh, I'd lo really love to know what people have to say. Thanks for uh, watching.